Hey air sailors, welcome to the crew. I'm Sea Lord Janta, and this is my let's play of Airships Conquer the Skies. In the last episode, we won a couple of major battles over our new rivals in the Northeast Alliance, and we're now attempting to take the offensive in earnest after the initial chaotic period of the war. Alright, let's go. First targets, Laronia, and Canada. Take Canada itself, and Canada is as good as destroyed as a power. This thinks we can't do it. I think we can, but it's going to be a long-range bombardment kind of deal. There's no outflanking them, unfortunately. Basically, all ships go to... Uh, maybe, maybe normal fire's fine, but target the first fortress first, and let's see what we can do. Five of those plus three ground forts. Yeah, I don't know. Well, apparently, despite the giant suspendium crystals, those do not float if you take out the chain. So that's kind of good to know. fair, even if we fail to actually take the place, if we can get out without huge losses amongst our ships, such as this, um, then having wrecked a fort or two, Canada does not have the money to replace these quickly and easily, so that's a, that is a big fire. have problems for some reason. Worse than the others. Then again, that's... Well, yeah, but look, she's just about got her fire under control. It's a problem. Well, never mind. It's getting worse again. She got it out, see, finally. But she did. Um, go ahead and aim for the third fort. <laughs> I don't think we're going to succeed in this entirely, but... So that answers that question about the defenses of Canada, I guess. Good grief. This is why we save sometimes, because it's very hard to judge these things. I'm still going to attack Canada, but... Um, it's going to have to be a hit-and-run sort of affair. Where we just um, try to take out one tower very quickly and then bail. Also, I might have to evaluate. The battleship design might not have enough fire points in it at this point. I'm curious to see what happens if I just use Chicago to cut this chain real quick. Oh, oh, that happens, yeah. That should have been pretty obvious, actually. Um, right. That was a dumb thing to try. Didn't really consider that. It 
long range bombardment it is. We take one fort out and then we retreat. to me like they're pretty dang expensive so we do that kind of damage to one maybe a little worse than that because it's not really Unfortunately for me, supply. Oh, they're building a big ship there with a big suspendium ray. Okay. Well, we can handle that just about. Here we win easily. We're gonna need to bite the bullet and just build that shipyard here, because we're gonna need to repair in between attempts. Not too worried about the ships, except this one. Holy cow. Canada just spent 4,600 on one new ship. That's gonna be all they've got for a long while, probably, but uh, that's a lot. That's more than one of our battleships. And our battleships seem to be annoyingly flawed. Unfortunately, Fog Castle has the same kind of defenses as Canada. So we're gonna have to fort up. Well, maybe at Walton, actually. What? No, I'm not bypassing to go to Abzombe. Well, maybe I should. Well, this place already has a shipyard. Fantastic, actually. As soon as they have sufficient supply to return, we can start the hit and run effort. This is definitely going to be a process of just. Thanks, guys. Just wearing down. Hopefully, not every city over here is this well fortified, but they could be. Plausibly. On the other hand, those are the border cities, so maybe, uh, maybe not. Take one of these out, and then we're gonna fall back. We got five of them here, plus four other forts. Maybe this is why their fleets are so bad. They have built just enormous fortifications here. To be fair, our whole combined fleet could probably overwhelm one of these, but. We don't have that luxury, really. Right side, that one's pretty well trashed. So, let's 
say retarget to this one. expensive repairs. Apparently the repairs here are pretty cheap at least. On the other hand, they've probably rebuilt the thing by now. Yeah, they totally have. I don't know how we're going to break through entirely. push there. Well, I think I pushed recall spy. That's not what I wanted to do. Um, no thanks, Thick Link. Maybe we should try to make peace with some of them. I don't know. Pretty much all have a full alliance, though, yeah. So it's unlikely we can root some of them out individually. your pirate problem. Not cool. I mean, almost certainly the defenses here are f still far too tough to crack, but, uh, is our fleet has heavy armor and long-range cannons, so it's pretty suited to this sort of warfare. Except for the battleship's persistent firefighting problem. Okay. Under control. And we've pulverized one tower. Tower number two, please. Oh no, you know what? That one's disabled. Oh, heck. Time to retreat again. This is gonna take a while at this rate. This thing is... We can't even really attack Canada with our fleet there anymore. This we will go ahead and fight, because, uh, pirates suck. I think if they get a lot of successful raids, they get a little tougher, but baseline pirates are just terrible. Yeah. Good effort, guys. Literally nothing left of that bastard. Yeah, good effort, guys. I don't think we even need any repairs. Nope. I 
Hmm. All I can really do about Canada is build, uh... Build more ships. In hopes that we can eventually overwhelm the place. But we kinda need to lure the big one out of position first. just have to hope that they either don't have the money to or are otherwise lax in repairing the defenses. I don't know how much each one of these towers costs, but I feel like it's probably quite a bit. So there is a shot. Great. Not by that much they didn't. Another attempt. Again, I don't expect this one to be decisive, but uh, tower number three out of five. I mean, we're getting somewhere. Theoretically, as their firepower reduces, we'll be able to stay here longer without getting a ship exploded. Battleships definitely need a Mark II with more spread out fire points. Or just more fire points. Apparently, these also have a bit of a fire issue. Didn't really notice it before, but that one is pretty burned. How are we doing? Fine so far. I mean, it is also just that the battleships are tanking pretty much every bit of all this defensive fire. Which is not a trivial amount. Fortunately, it's mostly normal sized cannons, but uh, still. the battleship. Time to pay a $600 repair bill, which honestly feels light for how much damage that ship was about to have. It's convenient that the flea button is instant, and I'm pretty sure basically interrupts explosions. You get up to Vermsea. At least we were able to take this as a forward base. Why does it have this and this? Nobody needs those. This, however, would probably be handy. Oh, dang. Well, we weren't really using it anyway, but it's still unfortunate. Those are expensive. Oh, yeah. We should have built this a long time ago, I think. In fact, in lieu of a... So I'm gonna build one of those. Oh, dang, we're already ready for another attack. Have they rebuilt? No, I don't think they have. Oh wow, we could technically auto-resolve a victory, but I don't want to lose a ship, so... That 
let's see about that tower. I mean, even with this... Only two towers left. They have four other forts besides those still. It's fairly ridiculous, actually. On the bright side, unlike Canada, Prampka doesn't seem to be on top of repairing these. Maybe that means they're building their fleet up a lot, but it's not here, so... use of time while um this doesn't even require repairs it didn't even lose anything it just exploded from fire all right i think a good use of our time would probably be to um add an additional fire point up there Heck, honestly, probably move the machine shop down. So we can fit another couple in here. And we can probably just put, um... spiders in here. Kind of terrifying. Okay, I've become sufficiently curious about the spiders that I want to install them. And then, you know what, to make up for it, I will put a bunch of Fire extinguishers are really dumb, actually. We could put a backup bridge in. I don't know if there's too much point in having extra crew. You know what? I'll, I'll, I can I can just do this. Oh, no, I can't. The machine shop is wide. Okay. a little and put a couple of these and it's fine. Okay, perfect. I 
Okay, hopefully this one will be both more effective and less fire prone. Canadian fleet is gone. I think they're over at Nimbus. Okay, well, we can raid Canada quick. Just as soon as that refit's done. Meanwhile, Fog Castle... Uh, should be takeable, probably, honestly. Oh, boy. Well, according to the auto-resolve, we could do it at the cost of every ship in the fleet. Let's probably not do that. Let's just, uh... Use good aimed fire, and, uh... Take out the last of the... I think these do have five cannon or four or something, so I think that's more than any of these. Take out the last operational aerial tower. And we'll worry about the ground ones. Most of the weaponry in the ground once does face this way, so flanking them would be a good idea if we can take the last aerial tower out. Well, there goes that. Although it's still operational, sort of, but... Okay, not anymore. Let's all refocus on... Start with this, probably. That one seems to be consumed in flame, although there's still a turret shooting at us. How are we doing? Fine. This might be it, then. These three on their own. Well, plus that incinerated one. They have a pretty limited ability. Well, they still have, what, like nine, ten cannons shooting at us? This one finally stopped shooting. I think so. Okay, this one's a wreck. Retarget that one. You know what, do these have... They do have some ability to fire back groups, but... I was thinking about coming up and using the saw or the flamethrower, but... At this point, I think we've just finished them off with the long-range bombardment. Okay. It took a while. We really had to bombard the place many times, but, uh... Fog Castle has fallen. We now rule the entire of this northern peninsula or island or whatever it is. Which means we can think very seriously. But where are all of my spies right now? Okay, there's one in Nimbus. Which that's where the big ass Canadian ship is. There's one. Oh, damn. Moongrashon has actually taken Abzombie, and they have a dragon ship. That's kind of cool. It's uh, got a lot of expense on decorations, but that's alright. <laughs> costs 3,000, too. It's glorious, though, so. Um, right, we've taken Fog Castle. It'll be nine months or something before we're ready to continue attacking, but, you know. Let's scout out the defenses of Hounding and Hummeling. If we could knock that power out of the war. Although they don't have much of a fleet, as far as I see. Maybe it was here and just lost. Yeah, it was, I think. Or no, that's Visura. Well, maybe it was there and got wiped out anyway. I don't know. It's mostly Pramp in Canada, I think. 
functionally. All right, let's um, let's do a quick raid on Canada, as long as their fleet is nowhere to be found. Yes, we would lose horribly, I understand. We have an extra ship in this fleet now, so we should really be able to go for it in the bombardment. All ships aimed fire, bombard that. I just want to test. I know we discovered that, uh, as should have probably been obvious, that sawing the chain is a bad idea. But what if I saw and flamethrow the sort of upper section here? trouble getting the saw to operate. And we just lost two cannons in the attempt. Although the place is wrecked, so that's gotta count for something. I think maybe the saw needs to be relocated to the top of the ship, or just somehow gotten to be further out. said that's one that's totally wrecked. Canada cannot have that much income, so... If we could get two down, they might not be able to repair them. Okay, time to retreat. Wow, they repaired both of those instantaneously. Oh, well, okay, the second... They are repairing this one instantaneously, but takes a little longer. And that's a thousand dollars damages to Chicago because of the suspendium cannons. Whew. I mean, their financial reserves definitely have a limit, but we're not at it yet, clearly. How many defenses? Ooh. That's a lot of cannons. Six of these big-ass towers. I, yeah, I'm beginning to think really beginning to think that all these guys don't have big fleets because they're spending enormous amounts on ground defenses. Which, I guess, might work, but is awfully passive. As we've just seen with the Fog Castle example, it won't work forever, necessarily. Canadian fleet is still away, so we're going to just keep on raiding them. Hopefully, if we can be a little efficient about it and not take a bunch of damage. I mean, their financial reserves are definitely limited. It's just a question of finding out what the limit is. But they only have this city and one other small town, so... I mean, they have a bunch of mutual trade treaties and things, but, uh... We do enough damage consistently enough. Uh, maybe they break. Lost a cannon. Or two, even. Tower is down, more or less. Great. Barely got a tower down. They definitely repaired. No, they didn't. They haven't started repairing it. They repaired the other two that had taken small damages, but that tower is still a wreck. 
They'll probably have it fixed by the time we actually get back, because we need to spend another thousand on repairing Chicago, but... We found that there is a limit. Oh dear. Um, we need to do something about that before they're done with that. Actually, um... Hopefully... Two cruisers can handle it, I hope. Um, I forget. I think the cultists are not that powerful until they finish the ritual. No, they're not. Okay, good. Yeah. We should be able to just annihilate them easily. Honestly. I guess it's a break. Giving due contemplation to just sailing in and burning it. It's actually pretty effective in the sense that it tends to cause magazine detonations and such uh, to the cannons. Even through armor. Okay, bye bye cultists. Dealt with that, didn't um, get obliterated by it. Someone should probably kill the Elder Dragon. I'm sure we could, but it's not exactly easy. You want to give me Black Spire for Fructopolis? Wait, where's Black Spire? Oh. Um. You know what? Okay, sure. That's reasonable. I was annoyed by having to guard Fructopolis that much anyway. Black Spire is much more sort of in my core territory, really. And it's got this social hub, too. Which is actually not a good thing, particularly. For me as the owner, but... Uh, that seems like an acceptable deal to me. Oh, of course. They literally proposed that deal the instant I finally killed the cultists that were in Fructopolis' territory. Oh, well. Um, it's acceptable to me, anyway. Uh, Alright. So they'll be back shortly. Chicago 5 is repaired. We could build another cruiser, and I think we will. Those seem to be quite solid, at least, as a design. LPS, uh... I mean, there's tons of other world cities I haven't named. This is like, um... Choice paralysis or something. Didn't I name one Cairo before? Um, how about... A good fall castle is finally properly secured.
Oh, I can only build one logistic. Oh, I don't have the money. Right. How well guarded is Salkenhauer? It is not. What even is this ship? Is this their supplies still? God damn it. Okay. Time to seize ourselves a foothold on the continent. Has Canada's fleet returned? No. Do we have enough supplies? Yes. They still haven't repaired that one either, so we must have finally really done a number on their, um... Financial reserves. Although it's technically operational right now, but, uh... We'll put some holes in it pretty quick. cycle, of course. The more we wreck, the more they need to repair, the more they can't afford to repair. And then there's less for us to fight next time, so we can wreck more before we have to retreat. As long as they don't have the money to repair everything, this only gets worse. Let's kill this little thing, because it's close to us, and I think it might be more accurate because of that. Also, it should die really easily. Okay, it's one gun just blew up. Leave it alone now. <laughs> oh. Alright, time to go. They repaired the little one, and they repaired the third one, but the other two are still in ruins. All right, Biscuria, yeah, good luck. Probably get rid of the shipyard here, this costs maintenance, doesn't it? Yeah. That being said, although we now have, oh wow, uh, what just happened to, the last territory of Biscuria just got absorbed by Prampk. I don't know how that works, maybe they just, surrendered, accepted vassalage or something. Well, plus 15% research, although useless now, but... It's expensive repair for ourselves as well, but... Uh... Oh, they fixed one. They couldn't fix the other, though, but they fixed one. Just gonna have to keep on hitting them. It's gonna be the same with hounding here, unfortunately. We're gonna have to <laughs> hound it. Um, these are even worse, though. These have four guns apiece. No, five guns apiece that aim at us. Maybe these structures are kind of vulnerable, but they don't usually completely collapse. Hopefully, they don't have m infinite money, but uh, yeah. Oh, wait, hold up. That's gotta be the big ship, right? We're rather short on supplies, but if we could intercept that... Let's take a risk on that. Thanks, Dragon Bridge. I think that means I can probably send another one. Yep. My dragons are terrorizing everyone. I think he was just in Kiskuni or something. Now this was a good chance. Oh, we didn't bring our battleship with. Uh, that's a problem. I thought we did. I guess it was still repairing. Okay, well everyone focus all fire on the big one. You know what? Let's try to get up close and get behind it. If we can get behind her, 
then we might be able to disable her before she burns us to their, uh, suspending and brings us to death. Okay, wow, we've uh, caused what look like pretty catastrophic fires already, actually. And I think her suspendium ray blew up. That's kind of GG's, really. Uh, Canada, you spent so much money on this battleship. It's more expensive than mine, and I'm pretty sure mine are better. <laughs> Gonna laugh with you. It's a little harsh. One of mine couldn't beat four of my cruisers either, but I mean, come on. Why is the ground ground? We're over the ocean. This thing should just be sinking into the bottomless depths right now. Well, that being said, we've won. Apparently the two small ones are so irrelevant as to be irrelevant. Well, there went the Canadian fleet. I suppose the freight up maintenance money will make it even harder to break through there, but, uh... Oh, I forgot we have another cruiser coming. Good. The more the merrier. Alright, well... We've done excellent work today. We are... Oh, why have I been sitting in the back up all day? We have... Finished off Viscura. We're fighting the final war with this coalition, and, you know... I mean, we have, we're firmly on the front foot. It's just a matter of battering our way through to... Finally win outright. Uh, so for now... Uh, thank you all very much for watching. Hope you all have a nice evening. Uh, this is Sea Lord Janda, signing off.